Hello guys, are you tired of rendering the same scene again and again? Do you want to render the scene once and change its light intensity color without re-rendering it? Then this tutorial is for you. In this tutorial we will learn V-Ray light mix technique that can do all of this. So without any further ado, let's get started. I will teach you V-Ray light mix technique on this scene which has three lights but I use this technique for interior and exterior night scenes too. So first thing is that you have to select your light and then you have to change its color. All lights color should be white. The second thing you need to do is that you need to keep a very high intensity of light. Let's say in this scene 49 was enough but I will keep it to 80 and I will keep this one to 80 and we can also use V-Ray light listener like this one is 6 I will keep it to like 30 something like that so all the light colors should be white and their intensity should be high after that open render setup go to render elements Click on add and then add V-Ray light mix. After that go to GI and make sure your primary engine is set to brute force. This is extremely necessary. Your primary engine should always be brute force. Else V-Ray light mix is not going to work. After that simply render and wait for the render to finish. When the render is complete. Simply come here and double click here if this menu is not open. Next, you have to click on source and it should be set to light mix. Now you will see a lot of things over here, but the main thing that you should concern about are the lights that you have used in your scene. In my scene, I have used these three lights, sky, light time, light party. So what I will do is that I will turn off all of these lights and I will turn on only one light at a time. This is my way of doing it. Light party. So the first thing I want to change its color. So I will click here and I will change its color. Let's say I want a red color over here, dark red. So I will keep a dark red over here. And as far as the intensity is concerned, it is also too much. So I will make it less. Let's just make it, let's say 0.6 or yeah 0.6 is better then I will turn on light time and I will turn it off for a minute as far as this color is concerned I will just keep it to blue okay that's a nice color and the light intensity I want to keep it to I think so 0.8 will be better in this case yeah that's good and then I will turn it on this one too. So I'm happy with the light intensities and the light color. As far as this part is concerned, it's all black because my skylight is off. So I will turn on my skylight. Now the skylight intensity is also too much. I will down it. Let's down it to 0.2. And as far as the color is concerned, I want it to be a very dark color. Okay, let's just go for this color like this. Now. If you want to click on all, you can click on all. It is not going to make any difference in your lights. When I'm done with my lighting colors and intensity, then I do two things. First of all, I come here and I save this image so that I can share it with my client or my head. The second thing I do is that I transfer these colors and values to my original lights. Now, if I come here and click on my light listener or select my lights, you can see that currently they all are white and they have the original lighting values. So what I do is that I click on to scene and it will say some, it will give you a message. Just simply click on yes and don't worry about this color. If you click here on your lights listener, you can see all the colors are transferred here and as far as the values are concerned, previously they were 80, 80 and 12. But now they are 48, 48 and 6. So values are also changed. So 
if in the future i want to render it i can simply render it and it is not going to create any problem it is going to give me the same previous result and also one more thing i have just changed these values but if i didn't change them i can also save my presets i can save this light mix preset like let's say aa i have saved it and if i reset it i can simply come to load and i can load it back again so guys you can save your preset you can load it you can reset them back to their default values you can transfer the values to the scene and so on so guys i hope you like this tutorial if you like it give it a like if you love it subscribe to my channel share my videos keep creating guys bye bye